Hello everyone, Cowbunger here. I'm back with another Rivals of Aether video. Uh, over these past couple of days, a lot of stuff's been going on in the Rivals of Aether workshop. Uh, mainly two big things. Uh, some stuff for Mario Day. Uh, there were a couple of mods that released then. And also there was this little presentation that showed off some Smash ports that were coming over to Rivals of Aether. We're going to be showing off the Smash ports here today, and then maybe within the week two, we're going to be showing off uh, a lot of the Mario stuff that was made for Mario Day as well. So I hope you look forward to that. At least two Rivals of Aether videos this week. Uh, for our first kind of venture here, we are going to be looking at Mario. Because, again, a lot of stuff for Mario Day came out. And, uh, this mod, it's not just a Smash Brothers port. I uh, will show you all what I mean by that here. Okay, here we go. So, just on a surface level, if you take a look at Mario's normals here, you're going to kind of see that, uh... He's pretty similar to how he plays in Smash, right? Not a lot of differences. But, I just hit an item block. You can do that with either your up smash or your up B. And what this does is basically make your neutral special a completely different move. So, for example, I just did a pal block. There is a Koopa Shell. They can be hit back towards you, so you have to be careful there. Just pal block again. It's kind of like random. Here's a boomerang. This Mario can get one of those. Here's a hammer. This is a close range move. This is all tied to your neutral special, by the way. Here's the cape. Another close range move. Flips people just like it does in Smash. And I think one other thing you might be noticing here is that... Every single time I hit something, I'm getting a coin. Um, this is Mario's main gimmick for this mod. Uh, every single time you hit somebody, you'll get a coin, or for some moves, you'll get more than one. Like this grab right here, which is his new side B. Um, you'll get like six coins out of that, so. Yeah, it's just like in Smash, you can throw in four different directions. And, uh combo off of it or kill off of it whatever you want to do had to show that one off but uh yeah once you reach 100 coins you get like the super move that you can do on your opponent so let's we'll see if we can show that off the uppie is a very good finisher Now, still use the cape to air stall a little bit. As you can see, Mario is a bit of a combo fiend. Here we go. Oh my god, of course you dodged. And now I'm just going to have to keep hitting you until uh, I get to 100 coins again. When you KO somebody, you get 20 coins, so there's that. Just going to keep doing down airs on him. Actually, here's down B. It's kind of just like... You know, the classic Mario spin. Just with a cool different animation on it. The down throws. The throws are really good. Really good for getting you some coins. Oh yeah. And then his side B in the air is actually his dive. So you can bounce off of opponents with it. You can also bounce off the ground. And you can like jump cancel it as well. So lots of utility there. Dang it. Get over here. Keep on grabbing them. <laughs> We're building it up pretty fast just by doing things like this. Almost there. We can pretty much safely KO him now and we'll get it again, so. Takes a lot. You're probably only going to get this one time per match, so when you do get it, you got to make it count, you know? I'm just going to try and, like, you know, just hit him. There we go. <laughs> Let's say trying to combo into it, it's definitely possible, but I think it's pretty hard to do, personally. 
I don't know, maybe because I'm crazy like that. Yeah, this pal block basically works as you expect. It hits anybody on the ground. Also hits people who are, like, right next to it, so... Yeah, Mario's super duper heavily focused on getting combos. Which makes sense, because with this coin system, you would think a character with something like this definitely needs to be able to combo. Not quite. There we go. Got him. Got him. Now... This Mario mod has something pretty interesting about it. Let's look at these alts. I think I showed them off already, maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's use Dr. Mario for this one. So this little icon right here, I'm sure you guys noticed it. If you hit it, it changes his moveset a little bit. So let's check it out. And I'm sure this alt will also, yeah, give him a pill. So that's cool. Let's see. Huh. Ah. Kind of see he's got a cape during that. And, uh, yeah. No item blocks. So you always kind of have a, uh... Kind of always just have a standard moveset with Mario here, so... Yeah, it kind of seems like with this moveset, the down B and side B are kind of, like, combined. So this probably... Can reflect projectiles? I'll see if I can test that out. I'll spam this thing when, you know... No, nah, I don't know. I thought he was supposed to have a cape somewhere here. I don't know, though. There we go. <laughs> yep, the Dr. Mario's alt's got all the, uh, all the different sound effects, so that's cool. I thought I was going to change his look completely, but I guess not. Yeah, there's there's a good old ladder combo for you. Oh, there. There's the side B. So yeah, you don't have a dive in the air with this moveset. That makes more sense. So yeah, very slight altercation to the moveset. I personally like the one where you cycle between the items more. That's a lot of variety to the character for sure. It's really cool that they represent the uh, power-ups in that way. Dang. Get him! There we go. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Clapped right back, literally. His forward air in this mod is super duper fast. It's probably more of a combo tool than anything in this, in this mod. Oh! That is definitely, uh... A hitbox that you do not want to get hit by, though. <laughs> That's more dangerous than the spike hitbox. Dang, man. Well, we be showing off those two versions of Mario. Now we're going to move on to Luigi. Go, Luigi. Go, Luigi, indeed. Let's look at all of his alts. Luigi's in there. Mr. L, let's go. Got Boo, Mugman, Brawl. So all non-saturated, basically. Danny Wells. That's the guy who played as Luigi in the Super Show. Okay, let's go on Mushroom Kingdom here. I feel like maybe I should show off the uh, the Aether versions of these stages too. Let me know if you want to see them. Because this is supposed to be, you know, Smash 64 version of this stage, so I could show it off some other time. This Luigi here um is very, very, very similar to a Smash version. No crazy gimmick like Mario has. Um, he does have some different variations to his moveset, like the flashlight there being used in his jab. 
Uh, is side B only in the air? No misfires on it, I believe. And you can store the charge on it. But on the ground, your side B is the grab. Kind of like with Mario. He's got a really good wave dash, of course. That's so why wouldn't he? But yeah, he's got he's he he's even got the dash attack. He's got basically uh, everything, just with a bit of a electric flare to it. Here's his down B. You can, you know, do the up B. I'll see if I can show that off here. It does have a sweet spot on it, and it can also bury people like that. So that's really funny. There's that sweet spot. Didn't even kill at a hundred. That's because Luigi uh, can probably combo into it a lot easier in this mod than than usual. So, Plunger's definitely got a lot less range too. But yeah, the, Luigi in this super heavy on combos. Super duper heavy on him. You could definitely do like the Smash Ultimate crazy grab combo in this game. If you're good. I'm not very good at doing it, so. Alternatively, I mean, if you don't think you're gonna hit the. Uh, you don't think you're gonna hit the up beast, the down B is, is a really good finisher too, so. You definitely use that. Let's see if I can uh, show that off. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. yeah. If you can combo into it, 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 it can kill, I promise. I have done it. There we go. Dash attack can still kill on this as well. Sorry about my voice. I don't know what's up with it. I, I really don't know. I'm having a lot more voice cracks than usual. But yeah, that's all we have to show for Luigi. Now it's time for Pac-Man. The most famous Mario character of all. No, but really, Pac-Man is about just as iconic as, as Mario is, so... Pac-Man's a very, very, very interesting character in this mod. Um... A lot of his moves really interact with each other. I hope I'm going to be able to show it off. But starting with a lot of the uh, normal stuff here um, that you will be familiar with. His fruits basically work exactly as they do in Smash. So nothing crazy there. <laughs> I'm trying to not get the apple. There we go. It's the watermelon. The Galaga ship. Ow. The bell. It does stun people. There it is. You just walked right into it for me. Thank you, Molo. And the key. Still the most powerful one. Your hydrant also works pretty much the same. You can hit it into people. And your uppy is also pretty much the same. Outside of some very interesting quirks about it. Uh... Let's see if I can show off one of the quirks right now, actually. So, let's see. It does take quite a bit of damage to uh, get this going. It definitely takes somebody to stop trying to hit you in order to set it up. Pac-Man's a very setup-oriented character for sure, but it feels like he's an all-rounder. He can do it all. So, let's see. Let's do that. Put his Hydrant down. So, this is just like SSF2 where... You can make the hydrant bounce on your trampoline, which is awesome. It's sick. I love it. Uh, your trampoline, I'm pretty sure, can interact with your fruits as well. Yep. So there you are. Um, one move I have been avoiding is uh, side B, and that's because it's completely different. You basically stick people with a pellet, and then you can do a lot of cool stuff with it from there. For example... Put down your hydrant. You can actually stick your pellet onto your hydrant and then, uh, you know, go to it, which is really cool. Instantly breaks it. 
You can put this on the side of a stage and use it as a bit of a recovery tool. <laughs> Dang, man. Molo, just leave me be. Yeah, you can stick it to opponents, too. And, uh, yeah. That's the main thing about Pac-Man, is just that all of his special moves can interact with each other. Other than that, he has a pretty basic moveset for himself, but I really, really like this moveset for Pac-Man. I think the pellet... The first time I saw the pellet, I was like, man, that's that's genius. And, uh, yeah. New dash attack. Kind of a new nair, because it's a multi-hit. New down air, too. It's it's actually the butt, the butt smash, right? Which he definitely should have had in regular smash. Doesn't make any sense why he didn't before. And, uh... Yeah, no, everything else, just about the same for Pac-Man here. I gotta try now, because I'm about to lose. Let's see if I can show off some of the setups that you can do with the character here. Aw. I tried to get a combo, and that didn't work. Come on. Get him. There we go. I think the fruits are a lot harder to set up in a in a game as fast paced as Rivals of Aether, but you do have the tools to kind of keep opponents at bay if you're good. So there's that. Oh jeez, I thought I was gonna die there. Okay. No. Get out of here. Out of here, Molo. Jerk. One other thing I forgot to mention, yeah, is that you can attack your... Uh, you can attack or parry near your fruits, and you can actually store them for later, so you can use them again. Or kind of keep your place in the cycle. Just one time, though. You can only do it once, but... Hey, look at that. We're coming back. That's another cool thing about this, too. It, that helps with, you know, how hard it is to keep a charge going. You can use one fruit, go and attack it, if you're fast enough, and then uh, cycle it up some more. So there you go. Now I still have the watermelon, I can keep on going. So, yeah. Really cool. No! <laughs> I died. Now we're going to do our triple threat here. I figured, you know, that'd be a cool thing to do at the end of all these videos. And, uh, yeah, let's show off the costumes, too. We love costumes. Uh, let's go with Popstar. And, uh, I have one more stage to show off because there were two stages made for Pac-Man. So we're going to show off the other one here. So here is... The other Pac-Man stage from Pac-Man World. The classic right here. It's a very interesting trap right there. Ow. Ow. This is be chaotic. Dang, man. Ow. These computers are really kicking my butt, man. It's a close match. Let me tell ya. Ow. There we go. I kind of just like to play Pac-Man without doing a whole bunch of crazy setup stuff, but you certainly could do some crazy setup stuff with Pac-Man. Probably some nutty things you can do. Let's see. Unlike SSF2, you can't place a trampoline right next to a... right next to a hydrant like that and have it do something. Unfortunately. I think that'd be kind of funny. If you could...
Luigi's already gone. Okay. Well, I guess it's just me and Mario. This music is not very, uh... Not very fit for a fight, let me tell ya. What you waiting for, Mario? There I go. I had my key. Now I don't. You can't move during this. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. No rolling during that. Let's see, just keep on getting them. <laughs> Come on. Aw, oh, man. You kind of actually stall in the air a little bit when you, uh... When you use this, though. It's very interesting decisions, for sure. And there we go. He bounced off the hydrant. So that is all for today's video. I'll show you guys what we're going to show off next, just so you can get a little bit excited. Uh, we're going to be showing off, finally, a Waluigi mod. Let's go. Uh, we're going to be showing off another Mario. This time it's Super Mario, and it's completely different from, like, any Smash moveset that Mario's ever had, so it's pretty interesting. And we're going to be showing off an arrow. <laughs> uh, this is extremely obscure. I I need to do research on this because I have no idea what this is <laughs> at all. Uh, but yeah, probably out of all the Rivals of Aether mods, this one's the most obscure to me, and that's saying something. I mean, somebody literally just made an arrow a character. Uh, yeah. Probably still not as crazy as a suitcase, but still, <laughs> pretty crazy. So this is what we have to look forward to for the next video. Can't guarantee that'll come out like tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, Thursday. It'll, it'll probably be this week, though. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.